Steak lovers, we hope you're hungry because the Palm is back. Once a fixture in Copley Place, this high stakes eatery has a new home in Boston's financial district. It's a great spot. Everyone finds themselves wanting to look out onto the Rose Kennedy Greenway. There's really not a bad seat in the dining room. And then you've got the patio situated right on the corner that overlooks that Greenway. It's just a great spot to see and be seen. The sexy, stately, state of the art location has high ceilings and an outdoor patio. And as always, the walls are covered in caricatures, a tradition the original Palm on 2nd Ave in Manhattan started so many years ago. The location was close to some of the New York publications and the cartoon artists would come in and after a couple of cocktails the owner talked them into putting some cartoons up on the wall. So in some cases I think that helped them pay for their dinner. And while most people know the Palm for their super juicy steaks, the original owners didn't intend sirloins to be their specialty. Italian steakhouse isn't a concept you hear too often. With our roots going back to the Ganzi and Bazzi families bringing their recipes over from Italy, we were never supposed to be a steakhouse. So we keep those recipes the same and we balance it out with some great steaks. In fact, when immigrants Pio Bazzi and John Ganzi opened the original Palm back in 1926, the restaurant's name was supposed to be a salute to their hometown in Italy. They were from from Parma, Italy, and so they went to get the paperwork to start the company, and the clerk heard Palm. They wanted to call it Parma, but they didn't want to call any attention to the fact that they had such a thick accent, so they didn't want to cause any waves, so they stuck with the name the Palm. So while there are always steaks and chops sizzling on the grill out back, there's much more to the menu. In fact, chicken Parmesan is a favorite among the staff made with a recipe that dates back four generations. It's just a classic Italian dish, but with the homemade recipe, it's completely evenly coated with homemade marinara sauce, the melted cheese, and it's lightly breaded. It's cooked to perfection. I mean, I have it once a week, faithfully. It's actually my favorite dish on the menu. That's actually what I order when I sit at the bar. People come in and ask about it. It's one of those items where a guest says, I came for a steak, but I really want to try this chicken parmesan. Another Italian-inspired dish that's a Palm original is the tender veal martini. Pounded out pieces of veal are cooked tender before shallots, sun-dried tomatoes, and shiitakes are loaded on. Then the whole dish is sautéed in marsala wine, resulting in a sort of veal marsala reinvented. The veal martini. People that have been to the Palm before, they love this dish. It's one of the most popular on the menu. It's something that I encourage the service staff to get out and talk to the guests about, because I think it's special. If you're looking for something more casual, the Palm offers a variety of burgers, big and small. The Bozzi Burger is a behemoth topped with aged Gouda, smoky barbecue sauce, and crispy fried onions. While the 837 Burger piles prosciutto de Parma, roasted red peppers, fontina cheese, and pesto. For something smaller, the Palm offers a bite-sized version topped with pickles, cheddar, and pesto mayo. There are even lobster salad sliders for seafood lovers looking for a snack. It's terrific. The lobster salad is made fresh daily. You couldn't be in a better spot as far as getting fresh seafood. If you do want that quintessential Palm Steakhouse experience, there's only one dish to order. The jaw-dropping, eye-popping Surf and Turf. We don't have any lobster smaller than three pounds. So you have a surf and turf option for a three pound, four pound, or five pound lobster. And you can combine it with any one of our steaks on our menu. If somebody came in and said, I've never been in the Palm before and I'm looking for a great meal, surf and turf. And no meal at the Palm would be complete without ordering a bag of donuts for the table. Each one is served piping hot with raspberry and chocolate sauce for dipping. Everybody likes donuts. We present it in a bag, the server shakes the bag at the table. Everybody seems to really enjoy it. And while the Palm certainly looks fancy with its white tablecloths and handsomely dressed servers, there's nothing pretentious about the place. I've had people come in and say, am I underdressed? And I say, no, I'm overdressed. I have to dress this way, but please come in. And so we can do patio tables, dining room tables, or at the bar. We welcome everyone in.